Coffee. We're here in Dallas, Texas, and I'm sitting with an extraordinary woman who's visiting us from Wells Fargo Bank. She is the Senior Vice President of Diverse Segments for Wells Fargo, and I am so excited to be sitting next to her, and we would love to hear what she has to say about this extraordinary event that they brought to Dallas, Texas. We are here with the 10th city that they've been to, which is the finale of a tour that they've had for African American media. And I have to introduce none other than Michelle A. Thornhill. Thank you. No, thank it's you. Great to be here. Oh my God, I like that name. <laughs> thank you. Um, I know that you, you may have things you want to tell the people, but before we get started with that, I just want to know why African American media opposed to other media outlets, if that's the case here. Well, the focus of our strategy has really been to reach out to the African American community. Okay. And we think, you know, as we think for generations and generations, uh, that it's important to be able to tell your own story. That's right. And in telling that story, we thought it was very important to be able to get out and talk to people who tell great stories. Right. And from our perspective, African American media outlets. Um, so we wanted to, one, build a relationship to understand what they were doing to serve our community, right? to get them exposed to Wells Fargo, our leaders, and 